is a mini tech closet. Mini tech closet. I figured this would be an easier way to explain shit to people who don't understand or maybe don't want to sit through a 15 minute video about me explaining about shit that they really don't care about too much, but just kind of interested in. So here we go. The Bible. Hyperfuse. Bam. About to go through my book of explanations. I got tongue tied. My fault. I write a bunch of shit down, so it's easier to explain to people, you know what I mean? In my terms. Feel me? Hyperfuse construction is a groundbreaking method of creating footwear uppers that delivers exceptionally lightweight, breathable, durability, and a seamless fit and feel. Hyperfuse uppers are built in a single unibody construction with zones of various performance capabilities such as ventilation, durability, and stability that are fused in. This innovation also allows Nike to maximize on their aesthetics and design language for a clean and modern finish. Pretty much Hyperfuse is lightweight, durable, breathable, and provides a great seamless fit uh, because there's like no stitching, it's one piece, you feel me? It's one unibody piece. Hyperfuse is a composite uh, of three materials pressed together with a hot melt. Synthetic material acts as a backing, or supportive base layer. Mesh in the middle offers lightweight and breathability. And then TPU film, which is thermoplastic urethane, a fancy name for like plastic, pretty good plastic. TPU film is the top layer or skin, think of it as a skin, and provides excellent durability. This fusion produces a super strong mechanical bond of three layers as well, a new unique aesthetic. So pretty much think of it like this, like I said, it was the base layer, which is for support, which is the one that's closest to your foot, then you got the middle layer, which is for breathability purposes. That's the one that you see on the like the hyperfuses and shit where it's like you see that vent, you know, into your foot. That's the second layer. And then obviously the top layer, which is the skin, usually the, the layer on top of the sneaker, obviously. That's the third layer that I was just talking about. And when they uh, hot melt press together, they turn into hyperfuse, that one piece upper that's real durable, breathable, and supportive. Think of like a, a sandwich. Hyperfuse construction delivers a wide range of performance benefits. Obviously, Hyperfuse primary benefit fit is breathability though. NSRL thermal imaging shows that heat and moisture build up primarily in the toes and middle sections of the foot. With Hyperfuse, these high heat zones can be made extremely lightweight and breathable by using mesh only in these areas. And the types of mesh used are designed to maximize airflow into the shoe to help keep the foot cool. Similar to mesh application, Hyperfuse constructed uppers also feature zonal stability. Like I was talking about with the base layer support that it, it, you can actually fine tune the support in certain areas of the shoe. This is achieved by utilizing durable and supportive synthetic leather in critical areas such as the midfoot and the heel that need to be more stable over the footbed. Another performance benefit of Hyperfuse is the durability of the three layer composite construction of the upper. Although each individual layer on its own is not very durable, when these layers are fused together, the composite has proven to be more durable than conventional synthetic leather in abrasion and tensile durability testing. So pretty much, by themselves, the base layer, the middle layer, and the top layer by themselves are weak. They will be, they won't hold up, you know what I mean, for a traditional sneaker. But when you fuse them all together with the hot melt, it makes a new material that is very durable and possibly more durable than the traditional leather, you know what I mean, and suede and stuff that uh, sneaker companies were doing for years and years and years. The unique unibody construction provides a nearly seamless upper that is lightweight, durable, and breathable. Like I stated before, this construction process provides a more consistent fit, and by completely eliminating stitching on the upper, improves quality and craftsmanship. So obviously there's less defects to actually catch in the factory, like with stitching, uh, because there's like barely any. It's usually just one stitch down the side of the medial heel, uh, that's where the unibody usually connects on hyperfuse shoes. Also by eliminating stitching, you reduce chafing, like inside the shoe, like if there's nothing, there's no abrasion in your foot, you know what I mean? You won't rub against anything uncomfortable inside the sneaker. This is where hyperfuse comes from. China is really important for us in Nike basketball because it's their number one sport. And for basketball, it's the world's second largest market. We went over there to you know, see with our own eyes some of the things we heard. We saw a lot of kids playing hoops in running shoes because they're really breathable and lightweight. We saw a lot of kids also playing in hiking boots because they're so strong. So we thought, how cool would it be if we can combine the benefits of both of these? The most durable materials don't breathe, and the most breathable materials don't last. Is there a way to put them together? Fusion. In China, where climates can be very hot and humid, and quality shoes can cost as much as one month's rent, athletes who play outdoor basketball have a unique need for shoes with great ventilation to help them stay cool and durability so that the shoes last longer. The traditional durability and ventilation are 
opposing benefits that are rarely found together in one product. The goal of Hyperfuse is to deliver both durability and ventilation in one shoe to meet the consumer's needs. And even to this day, most Asia releases have extra durable rubber. That's what XDR stands for. You probably like extra, it starts with an E, but Nike starts it with an X, it's, you know what I mean? And, and that's pretty much what it was. Hyperfuse had extra durable rubber outsole, so it, it stood up you know, outdoors and it had Hyperfuse for breathability purposes. And Hyperfuses were like, what, 100 bucks back then? So it wasn't that expensive compared to like a Jordan or something in Asia. You probably thinking, them niggas make these shits anyway. Ain't these shits cheap? <laughs> anyway, that's it from my mini tech closet. I don't really got nothing else to say. Keep it real short. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I kept you informative with Hyperfuse since, you know, that's all there is nowadays in sneakers. What happened to leather? I miss leather sneakers. It is what it is. Anyway, just for kicks two one two. One.